Now I warmly invite Mr. Kibinoto Achumi. So please give him a round of applause. Good morning, everyone. Firstly, I want to thank God for giving us this beautiful moment and this beautiful day. My name is Kivinoto Achumi, and I'm honored to stand here in front of all of you to share and brief a little bit about a kid examination. Before I go into the topic, I really want to thank to all my teachers that who have supported me uh, through my uh, in all my in all the ways. And it's because of them I have achieved this far. So to start, I just want to ask something to everyone. Anyone knows about the CAD examination? Anyone knows the full form of CAD? You can raise your hand. Okay, can you please? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so, the full form of CAD is Common Admission Test. It is basically conducted by 20 IAMs altogether to enroll the students into their institution. So, CAD examination is called Common Admission Test. And uh, I just want to highlight a little bit on this. Um, in a year, over 2 lakh plus aspirants apply for this exam and the seat is very limited, where the seat is approximately 5,300 seats available. So it is quite competitive, uh, not that hard, I should say, but it is very competitive, and uh, that is why we should uh, study so hard for this exam. I want to highlight, uh, I want to highlight the subject that you should prepare for CAD. There are three subjects. There are three subjects that you should uh, prepare. That you should prepare. The one is VARC. That's called Verbal Ability and, Comp and Reading Comprehension. It's basically an English subject. So verbal ability. Um, for uh, for verbal ability, they are like we have all studied English since our uh, since our high school. So we will all be knowing. Fill in the blanks, sentence correction, uh, jumbled paragraph, and usage of grammar and all these things falls under this uh, verbal ability. And reading comprehension. Reading comprehension, as we have all experienced it since class 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and we all know that we have to read a paragraph and we have to answer it according to, accordingly. So it's not a simple reading comprehension here. It's very hard to understand and it's uh, quite difficult, so we have to read it again and again to answer the correct, uh, to answer it correctly. And I'll just write it here. This is verbal ability and reading comprehension. This is the first subject that you should focus. It's basically in English. And the second, the second one is. Data interpretation and logical and logical reasoning. So, data interpretation and logical reasoning is a very uh, vast subject, and um, we have no experience in this subject. That's like we we don't learn in the college, nor we have no knowledge about this. So, you should work on this. Uh, and under this, pie charts, uh, line graphs, bar graphs, tables, and all cubes. Uh, clocks, number and letters series, all comes under this. And for logical reasoning, logical reasoning is a very difficult uh, section that we should consider. Because logical matching, logical connectives, blood relations, all these type of topics come under this uh, section. So the second one is data interpretation and logical reasoning, DILR. And the third subject we should focus is quantitative aptitude. I don't know about the BCom, but for BBA, we have uh, in second and third semester, we have quantitative uh, techniques one and kinetic techniques two. So to, to, to have a basic 
Uh, the cognitive technique one and two is a basic idea. It's not full, all the uh, things are not there, but it's a basic idea to start this subject, to start preparing for this subject. So you should consider uh, working on this. Cognitive aptitude, uh, you can also refer class nine and 10 mathematics because we have all studied number system, loss profit discount, percentage, ratio and proportion, algorithm, uh, even probability, um, and also trigonometry. So we should, uh, you, sh you can also refer the class 10 maths uh, that we have already studied because it's not, it's not, uh, it's not that all the things are there, but you can refer to that so that it can help you in further uh, preparation. So the third is cognitive aptitude. It's called QA, cognitive aptitude. Uh, they are, there are around 76 questions altogether. Here, you will have 24 questions, 26 questions, 26 questions. And Yeah, all together 76 questions. So you will get uh, 40 minutes for each. During the examination, you will get 40 minutes for each section to answer uh, for each section. And for OBC, you will get 50 minutes, 10 minutes extra for OBC. So you have to read it carefully for VARC, you have to read it carefully and answer it. For IDLR, you have to prepare it uh, so hard that because it is, it is a very new subject for you and for cognitive ability uh, it's not that very it's not that hard but you should also look uh, prepare it so much on this the second part i want to go is my preparation on how i prepare sometimes i thank god for giving me, i thank god for giving me this opportunity to go to iam jammu but I also regret sometimes because I did not give myself much time for studies. I should have gotten into another IM, into good IMs like IM Ahmedabad, IM Calcutta and all. But I prepared for one to two hours a day. Just before, just two and, two and a half months ahead of the examination. So if I prepared more than two, one to two hours a day, I should have scored better. So I. I thank God, but I also regret at some point. I also have a regret at some point that I did not do well. I did not prepare well. And so, through my experience, I want to encourage you guys, you should prepare at least three to four hours a day for this examination. Because it's, this examination is, the, competitive, the competition is so high that even if you score a good uh, percentile. Sometimes you don't get a chance to get admitted to IAMs. So you should uh, prepare so much on this. The reference I took is I never took. I didn't took any coaching for this. I uh, the reference where I have where I took is YouTube and Google. YouTube made a very great impact on me. There is uh, a lot of uh, there is a lot of channels that provide uh, uh, um, they provide a good knowledge on this CAD preparation of CAD examination. So you should consider YouTube and go to the YouTube instead of uh, seeing some other sites. You can go to the YouTube and you can learn from here because uh, there are lots of channels that gives uh, that brief on that that have uh, knowledge on this. Uh, very exam called CAD, so you should consider going to the YouTube and checking it out. If you have any doubts, you can go to the Google because Google there is a, there is a lot of uh, links. There is a lot of um, there is a lot of things that you can go through in this Google. Even if you have any doubts, to clear yourself. And the third thing is TCS, Data Consultancy Service. Last year there was a program called. YEP, Youth Employment Program, from that was provided by Data Consultancy Service. So, I attended that very program, 
through online uh, course and I learned a lot from there because they focused on these subjects. All these, all these uh, subjects were taught there. So I learned a lot from there and I also encouraged the college to have some trainings for the students so that they can have a brief idea on this data consultancy service. Now, after getting through the uh, interview, uh, after getting through the exam, okay, I was I faced personal interview. The personal interview was around 25 to 30 minutes, I guess. Yeah, 25 to 30 minutes. So, personal interview, through my experience, what I want to share is, you have to be so confident. And you have to have a vibe of connection between you and the interviewer. So that they feel that, and make them feel that you are already selected to the institution. <clears throat> the vibe gets different. The friendliness you maintain, you have to maintain in a very uh, friendly way, in a very, you have to have a good connection with the interviewer so that the second thing is you have to have a very good presence of mind because they, they use, they ask uh, many kinds of difficult questions also sometimes. They ask me general knowledge about uh, President of India, Vice President, uh, Finance Minister. Uh, uh, during the COVID, I had my interview, so they asked when. Uh, they asked in which inst in which institute did the COVID. Uh, in which institute? Which institute found the COVID vaccine? So they asked me. I did not know. <laughs> and they also asked me about. Uh, the project work that you will be doing. I think you have you, uh, you will be doing on your sixth semester, right? The project work you will be doing, so you have to do it well because this project work that you will be doing it carries a very uh, great impact on your future. Because uh, even during my interview here, they asked me about my project work. They asked me my objectives and my aims, my goals, and all the stuff. So. You have to have a good. Uh, you have to. You have to have a good project work, not just a mere one. They asked me about my short, short-term goal, long-term goal, and uh, one thing I want to emphasize is, if you don't know the, if you don't know the question, if you don't know the answer, you just say you don't know. You don't have to elaborate more on that because, uh, because, the things get messed up when you try to cover up with some kind of answers. So if you, if you don't know, you just say you don't know. If you, answer, if you know the answer, you just answer it. Uh, that is the one key of success uh, to the interview. Um, for interview, yeah, that's, 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 that was my interview. And for breakdown of marks, even if you score 70 to 80 percentile in CAD, you might not get admission to IAMs. Why? Because there is a breakdown of marks here. Your CAT score carries 40% of marks. Your personal interview carries 30% of marks. And your profile carries 30% of marks. So it gets 100% here. So even if you have a good percentile in your CAT score, if you are not, if you do not do well in your personal interview, your score gets lesser. Or even if you get a lower grade in your CAT exam, if you do well in your personal interview, the score gets high. So it's according the the marks the marks breakdown. It's here. Uh, even the profile. For profile, you can you have to have a good profile, such as uh, your inter college certificates your CR certificates, students council certificates, if you have uh, your education background, your class 10, uh, your class 10, if you score 60% plus in class 10, you have an extra mark on that. If you score 60% plus in class 12, you have an extra mark for that also. Even during the graduation, if you score 60% plus, you also have a plus for that. So your profile, it carries 30% of the marks altogether. So, uh, and even 
in your profile there is a uh, uh, work experience marks work experience marks so if you have a work experience you get a little extra point for it also so that's all about the breakdown of marks and after you get the admission after after you get the uh, admission offer letter from the IAM uh, institution you don't have to worry about because it's expensive you don't have to worry about the uh, amount that you will be sending because they provide the loans facilities up to 40 lakhs and uh, there is no guarantee required because this institution have a tie up with different kind of banks so there is no guarantee required nor co-applicant required just your documents and yourself will, uh, they will sanction the loan for you in two three days so you don't have to worry about the amount you'll be spending there and so that's all about the cat and I am. If you have any queries, questions, or if you want to know something about, then you can also ask. You can WhatsApp me if you want to know something. Okay. What's the current condition for your loan and work situation? Yes. conditions the banks have For a loan? Yeah, terms and condition. Uh, for terms and condition, it's the person, the first of all, the interest rate is around it it'll be floating around 6.97 percent uh, 7.5 percent around that yearly and there is also uh, a what do we call um, insurance for the loan if you have if you have if for just for instance if you are dead or something uh, your parents won't pay your up your loans so there is insurance for that also. You get one leg for you get one leg for laptop. If you want a bike, you get 1.5 legs for bike. And uh, my fee was 13.20 legs. So all the fees will be covered up there. Even your mess fee will be covered up there. And monthly expenses they will give you in there. So. So you should all give a try for CAD examination because CAD exam is a good opportunity for you to go for you to grab it and probably it will be held on November this year. So you should start preparing from now. So that's So that's all from my side, if there is no question from me now.